A very warm welcome to another episode of The Social Show. For the next few minutes, we're going to be meandering through CSI, CSR and shared value initiatives in the land. And it would be a fail not to mention that we are coming to you from iFundi, our premier sponsor of location, in the heart of Santon, Johannesburg. And if you want to know a little bit more about the work that they're doing in education, you can follow them at www.ifundi.co.za. Otherwise, let's get straight into the headlines. Feeding a staggering 4,000 people daily, mostly children, and reaching about 22 soup kitchens in Kailicha, Westlake, Retreat, and Stienberg, a new initiative by Constantia Can sought out to ambitiously raise 1 million rand in a single online fundraising auction held on October the 1st. Susan Johnson of Constantia Can has noted that the auction is a rarity and contains a level of access to South African products like no other. Since launching in April as a direct response to the COVID-19 pandemic, Constantia Can has delivered over 500,000 meals with a total of over 2 million rand and so much more. Two fundraising heroes uh, reached their destination this past Wednesday in Durban after a gruesome 600-kilometer, 17-day run from Johannesburg. Kabelo Mabelane Peteni Kuzwayo, founders of Move the Nation, braved the intense cold, the intense heat, the muscle aches and the physical exhaustion to raise funds for children who go to bed without food every single night in South Africa. The pair so far has raised over 1.3 million with more pledges coming in. Old Mutual donated 1.1 million with Kellogg's coming in with 265,000. We wish them luck. FES Media, through its regional media project, Fez Media Africa, recently launched a video clip competition asking youths around the continent what they thought about access to information. The idea was to encourage youth to share and reflect their thoughts on access to information with the view of UNESCO's theme in mind, which is shaping lives, building trust and bridging hope. After a panel of judges evaluated and monitored all the submissions, it was Austin Ikujiru who took first place. This is his video. Hi, my name is Austin Ekujuru, and I work for a youth-led organization called Basic Christ Watch. As a citizen of Nigeria, it is my right to request and have access to public information, especially in this time of global pandemic. Timely and unrestricted access to information can save lives at all times. And in times of emergency, such as the public health crisis the world is currently facing. Proactively publishing information, such as health-related information, is also key to saving lives and ensure the safety and health of everyone, including persons living with disability and vulnerable groups. In the same vein, access to information can build trust through transparency as access to information supports our crisis response and recovery from the COVID-19 pandemic and bring back hope through the Sustainable Development Goals. As countries around the world manage the impact of COVID-19 pandemic, the International Day for Access to Information highlights the importance to save lives, build trust and bring back hope by providing access to government-held information in times of crisis and beyond. Since 2016, Basic Christ Watch has worked to promote access to information and relied on the Freedom of Information Act of 2011 to entrain transparency and accountability in public institutions. By ensuring they comply with the provisions of the Freedom of Information Act and citizens at all levels have timely and unrestricted access to public information. So join us as we celebrate the International Day of Access to Information. Now, as we wrap up Heritage Month, a month that embraces South African diversity within their culture and their language, UCT has announced a new undergraduate program that will be offering a Khoisan language to be developed in the next five years. According to UCT, this initiative will foreground the erased and marginalized indigenous knowledge, language, rituals, and ways of knowing of the San and Khoi people within the university and the community at large. 
we've come to the end of this week's episode of The Social Show. Now, if you want to know a little bit more about the stories involved, you can send us an email at press at social-tv.co.za. Otherwise, you can visit our website, www.social-tv.co.za. My name is Viewe, love and light. For more stories like these, go to www.social-tv.co.za. Subscribe to us on YouTube and follow us on our social mediums.